Hello everybody, this is Yakes87 and welcome to Circuit of the Americas East Course with the Spec Racer 4. So this is the first of three Circuit of the Americas road courses. This one being probably the simpler one in terms of track complexity, but that does not mean it is not without its own challenges. Um, Circuit of the Americas is a very, very challenging Formula One track here in the United States located in Austin, Texas, and this is fun because this is our first World Tour event at a track that is not located in the great state of Florida. So, we're officially traveling the world. We are now out of the home state and venturing forth to other track outlets and challenges. So, we're going to go ahead and do our little pace lap here. As you can see, there's a very sharp hairpin turn here and a couple of really long straightaways. Let me grab a little drink. That's an off track, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was an off track, just getting off into the red. That, that was an off track. Okay, all right, I guess, I guess painted pavement is considered off the track. All right, well, <laughs> that's interesting. It's kind of stupid, but. Okay, so we're going around the last corner here. Um, the start finish line is at that set of cones up ahead, so let's get going. Green flag, everybody, for the first of three events here at Circuit of the Americas. Gotta be very careful here. This car is very uh, momentum sensitive, so any change in speed, too fast or too slow, can cause issues with spinning out in this car. So um, we survived the first couple of corners, which are the most trickiest on um, this restart. And now we're off and going. 87 laps here at Circuit of the Americas. Through the hairpin. And down this really long... Oh, birds! There's birds! I like birds. Everyone loves birds. Who doesn't like birds? Then we come all the way down here and slow down and sharp left hand turn as we come back across to the finish line and complete lap number one here at Circuit of the Americas. This has been a uh, really tough track for me. I've been practicing um, a couple of different configurations. Um, focusing on this one primarily because it is the one that is coming up next. And uh, this is a very, very difficult road course. And I think what makes it even more difficult is it's not a road course I've really raced before. Um, when the road course first came out, I ran a couple of laps on it because I was like, hey, cool, no ro new road course. And I had some fun with it. I never really raced it or took it very seriously. So, I mean, for the most part, I have no idea what the layout of this track is. So, it's been an adventure learning this. Um, just like it was learning the, um, the moto track over at Daytona. That was also a track that I'd never even seen before. So, trying to learn that and make the challenge fun and... That turned out to be one of the most entertaining challenges I've done yet, so we'll see how Coda it goes. Um, we got the East Course with the SCCA Spec Racer Ford, which we are doing now. And then coming up next will be the West Short Course with the BMW Z4 GT3 car. And then we will be tackling the full Circuit of the Americas course with the Formula One McLaren. So yeah, there's definitely a lot going on here, a lot of different challenges, it's a very complex racetrack, but it should be a lot of fun and I'm definitely looking forward to turning the laps on this racetrack. And once we finish up Circuit of the Americas, we are heading off to Texas Motor Speedway. So 
So, uh, as the format stands, um, once we get going, um, for road courses, I give myself two mulligan spins, um, hoping to not have to use those. And then, obviously, uh, 2x contact is a challenge restart, as is it, um, it's, um, as far as the spins go, it only counts against me if I get a 2x loss of control from it. Um, I'm not penalizing myself for off tracks. Obviously, you can see um, just from the warm up lap that um, just kind of just slightly going off into the red can give you a off track. So, obviously, not really an issue because I'm in a very small car, but try not to have to worry about that. Try not to get any off tracks. Try not to spin out. Try to keep these laps as fast and clean as possible. Um, remembering first and foremost that the EX87 World Tour is all about completing 87 laps at every racetrack, not necessarily being as fast as possible at every racetrack. So. It is an endurance challenge. An endurance I have, an endurance I am getting good at. So. We're going to go ahead and be completing lap number five here. Um, don't really have a whole lot else to say at the moment. Um, I don't really have any experiences to talk about with this racetrack. Um, obviously, it's a fairly new racetrack. Um, you know, located in Austin, Texas, home of the, you know, uh, United States Grand Prix. Formula One circuit, so uh, I don't really follow Formula One a whole lot. So, you know, it's kind of like it's I don't really have a whole lot to say about Circuit of the Americas, which is kind of rough for me because I'm just like I don't know how I can make these uh, Circuit of the Americas videos as entertaining as like you know tracks like Sebring and Daytona, where I can talk about my own experiences at these racetracks. I've never been to this racetrack or run a lot of races on this racetrack, so. Um, yeah, I think that's going to make the YouTube side of this video pretty short. Um, but I am live on Twitch recording this right now, so if you're watching on Twitch, hello. Hope you guys are enjoying the challenge. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, lap six complete. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So if I have something to say, you will see it. So thanks for watching and stay tuned, everybody. Ooh! Ooh, hello everybody. So we just completed lap 22. We're on lap 23 now. And I just ran out of all my laps of practice. Um, that is my first lap under a minute so far. We clocked in with a 59.780. That is incredible. That's amazing. Good job me. Pat on the back. Um, I also noticed I don't have my hat on. My official Yakes 87 hat which is hanging up right over here. It's my hat. Hold on. Let me get the hat on. There we go. How's the hat? This is mid-challenge. Let's get the hat on, boys. All right, so, um, challenge has been going really well so far. Um, I haven't really had any dicey moments so far as I knock on my desk very quick because uh, the last time I said that, uh, while recording Five Flag Speedway, I came back and was like, yo guys, everything's going good so far, and then just walled it in turn four. So, um, definitely not going to try to do that again. Um, things are going well, though. You can see we just ran our fastest lap ever here so far, which is amazing. Um, I have yet to turn a lap faster than a minute one, so... Or a minute point one, like a, a minute and one tenth. So to do a uh, fifty-nine seven is just absolutely amazing and incredible, and that's awesome. And that's showing that um, not only am I learning the track, I'm getting better at the track too. Like that is visual progress right there. And to think that that lap was turned on like lap twenty-three of a run, like that's nice, guys. That's nice.
so yeah, um, lap 25 now, we're uh, just steadily kicking off laps, we're just making some progress and getting these laps done and completing this event, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, let me know what you guys think um, down below, and be sure to toss this video a like, and uh, yeah, subscribe for more quality content like these lap challenges. Um, this is going to be a very lengthy project. I realize this. It, it's, it's a lot longer of a project than I originally thought it would be, but that is not going to stop us. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep trying to get videos out as quick as I can. Um, I'm also going to, um, as soon as everything has been settled with the chaos going on in my life, I will be uploading a vlog explaining to everybody exactly what's happening. Um, long story short, it sucks. It really sucks, but stay tuned for the vlog. I'll, I'll go over everything in detail and let you guys know what's happening and what's being done about it and why things have been delayed and why my stress has been pretty much at a breaking point nonstop for the past two weeks. So it sucks, but we're getting through it. Um, I'll have a video out this week. We'll, we'll go over everything. I gotta get some notes together. And, but enough about that. Hope you guys are enjoying the tour. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Stay tuned for a vlog later this week, as well as more videos from Circuit of the Americas. As we complete lap 26 One, there, zero, um, eight, three, three. I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, awesome. Please keep it up. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, we'll see you probably at the halfway point. So. See you later, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. 59.616. That is, uh, that's a one strike. That's one strike. I got a. Uh, I was getting greedy. <laughs> I was turning a bunch of really fast laps and just like, let's keep up the momentum. And it just bit me in the ass. So that's one strike, everybody. Uh, lap 34. Uh, let's hope that is the only one. We've made it this far. So I think we'll be okay. I think I just need to dial myself down just a little bit some mistakes don't happen so yeah oh, that's that's an off track again those are, those are delightful aren't they really good cool great but yeah so we're just we're gonna keep chucking along um, hopefully try to avoid early downshifts and more spins so I'm just gonna kind of take it easy and get to the end but that is why we have the, the basically two strike system for this first stage of the tour obviously later on down the road I'd like to not do that and just keep you know spinning from happening altogether but um, I don't really consider myself an expert at road course racing um, obviously when it comes to like oval tracks and stuff um, there are no strikes there. Uh, the only thing that's allowed on the oval tracks is mild wall contact, as long as it doesn't severely damage the car and is only a 0x. As long as it's a 0x wall contacts at oval tracks are okay. Um, but I'm just, I'm not really good at these cars, and part of it is like a lot of these cars I'm just driving for the first time. So that's why I'm kind of like giving myself a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to spinning out on some of these difficult road courses with cars like this but obviously we want to keep that to a minimum and I feel like over 87 laps if you only spin twice that's that's pretty good if it's not something you've put hours of practice into I mean I've put a couple hours of practice into this so um, but I mean you should have seen my practice laps I mean I was spinning out like every five laps it was it was ridiculous and I was getting nervous for this challenge so I mean the fact that I made it 34 laps without spinning I like that that's great let's keep it up but 
We're closing in on halfway, everybody, so if you're watching on YouTube, stay tuned. Sorry for the mistake. We'll try to keep that to a minimum, and we're just going to keep chugging these laps along as I am way over driving that corner. But yeah, we're just going to keep chugging, chugging along and getting these laps done and having a lot of fun doing it. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Alright everybody, so we are on lap 65 now, which means we're about three-fourths of the way through this. And let me just tell you, um, it has finally started to set on me just how boring this track configuration is with this car. Um, just, I've just found myself just thinking and daydreaming and just ready for this one to end as I'm just driving all over the place um, just simply because like it's just a simple course now I, I wouldn't say this is nearly as um, mind-numbing as the Daytona short road course was zero, but three, one, nine. definitely up there in terms of just not a very entertaining challenge and I know it's not because it's 87 laps um, because there's been some there have been some 87 lap challenges at certain tracks that have just blown me away and have just been so much fun every single lap that I didn't want to end you know I think about you know the Sebring International course that one was a lot of fun um, Obviously, the moto course at Daytona, that one was a ton of fun. And it just, it was just, they've all just been so much fun. Uh, USA, USA, that was another fun one with the SK Modified. That one was fun. Like, those ones are just like, I don't want these to end. But then, you know, they obviously came to an end. And then there's just some that... You know, I'm running these, and it's just like, One, why am I doing these? Point and I, I think it nine, may just nine. be like, it it it, a lot, it seems to be the ones with slower cars that I'm get like the road courses with slower cars that I'm getting this on. Um, you know, like I think back on the Sebring um, short course, the club circuit, the top one with the Pontiac Solstice. That one wasn't too terrible, but. Um, there was definitely a point, like, in the middle of it where I was just like, okay, this is enough. And then, of course, we had the issue with the, the sim crashing on me in the middle of that one, which was delightful. Because then I had to, like, stop and go back into this place when I was already in, like, a mode where I'm just like, I don't want to run this anymore. And then it's just like, to be... Network error. Oh, we're back up, I think. Yeah. That was kind of strange, but hopefully it doesn't affect my recording, but... Uh, yeah, we're still recording. Stream's back up. Okay, cool. So, um... I don't know. Don't know what that was about, but, uh... Yeah, there's just been some challenges that have just... One, they've dragged on, and two, others have five. just been a blast. And this one is kind of like... It's not like as miserable as like the Rallycross Long and the Daytona Short Road course, but I'd, I'd put it up there pretty much right next to um, the uh, club circuit at Sebring with the, the Pontiac Solstice. You know, it, it, it was, that was a good track, it was a fun track, but with that car it just wasn't a very good combination, and I don't I don't know if this fits the same criteria because, I mean, this. Let's let's be honest. This particular layout of Circuit of the Americas, the East Course, is um, way simple. It is way, way, way simple. Um, so I just, I don't know. I, I I guess I'll put it like a step below. One one zero, below that, two, two. and yeah. And just kind of 
lower than average, but also just like not the worst. Not the worst yet. But I don't know. This one's just kind of it's just starting to like drag on. Luckily, we're on lap 70 now, so we're getting pretty close to being done with this thing. And definitely looking forward to that. Um, after this one, uh, it'll be about learning the other half of the circuit with the BMW. A little bit faster cars, so should be a little bit more enjoyable. Um, it's my first time back in a GT3 car since the Homestead Challenges. Um, looking back on those, I kind of wish I didn't schedule like the first two road courses as both with one GT3 cars. Zero, I do kind of wish I five, spread one. those out a little bit, but at the same time I also love my GT3 cars. They're so much fun to drive and they're just awesome. So uh, yeah, GT3 car at the other half of the track and once we get both halves of the track figured out, it's time to mesh them all together with the Formula One car and I have no idea how that's going to go. But we will see. But anyway, 71 to go. Or no, not 71 to go. We're on lap 71. So we've got 16 laps to go. I'll catch up with you guys when we get close to the end. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this Circuit of the Americas East. I don't know if I am, but eh, we're getting there. So uh, stay tuned guys, we'll see you uh, towards the end. Right. Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, lap 85. So something amazing happened a couple laps ago. Um, I actually meant, you can actually see it there on my best time. Lap 81. I got a 58.756. A whole second faster no, it's like six tenths faster than my best, which was a 59.3. And then I followed that up with a handful of 59.2 laps. Um, I didn't feel like pushing it to get another 58 second lap. Um, it was kind of a thing where like I was in a groove and I hit a couple laps and I'm just like, I'm curious if I just push this just a little bit harder, if I will actually manage to get a 58. And I landed a 58.76, so I was absolutely ecstatic about that. But coming around let's go lap 50 or lap 86 this time by which means just two laps to go One here at circuit of the america's zero, east five, course five. down here in peaceful austin texas Tear off for the final lap and a half. Clean windshield, wind visor, whatever you want to call it. Helmet, clean helmet. That is another off track. I've gotten a couple there. Um, it's just really weird because it's like, it's not even like grass, but it's also just like, you're gonna get an off track if you if you drive here, and I'm just like, but I don't want to. And it's just like, well, too bad. Then you shouldn't have driven on the red pavement. And I'm like, but I like red. So, anyway, white flag, everybody. Lap 87. One to go here at Circuit of the Americas East Course. And I am ecstatic. Because this is another challenge completed. So all the naysayers, they were telling me, oh, you'll never get all these done. Well, guess what? This is number 18, dudes. We have almost completed 20 challenges. By the time we're done with Circuit of the Americas, I'll, we'll have 20 track configurations, unique track configurations, with 87 laps completed on them. So how about that? How about that for the crazy idea that everyone said would fail? I think not. But we have just one more corner to go. And this last lap will be completed. So, coming out of the last turn, Yakes 87 with the checkered flag. And 87 laps at Circuit of the Americas has been completed. So, 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed the live version of the challenge over on twitch.tv slash 87 Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and let me see your recommendations for future challenges and car combinations. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys at the West Course with the BMW Z4. Have a good night, everybody. See you later.